Hello everybody, this is Vincent from Affiliate Team IO, and this video is about the Amazon Card plugin. So with this extension you can uh, add a virtual card to your affiliate website and users have the possibility to place products in a card before they buy. Just take into consideration that this is only possible with uh, Amazon products or um, products imported from Amazon. Uh, you can integrate the card per widget, so we can just like plug it into a sidebar or you can just insert a short code. Um, uh, we will come to that just in a minute. Subsequently, the user gets directed to a card page uh, and then you see like the overview of all products and uh, below the table there's a button that redirects again to Amazon uh, and then asking if he wants to add the number of products he chose to his Amazon card. Um, there's one other thing like, uh, of course, there's more interaction happening on your website. This is one uh, like pro for this plugin. The other one is that uh, Amazon offers you a 90 day cookie uh, rate for this add to cart function. function. So you actually you extend um, the cookie lifetime because usually it's uh, just 30 days if I'm not mistaken. At least it's much less than 90 days. So um, this is... Um, a great advantage of this plugin. Before we can get started with our um, Amazon Card plugin, we have to download uh, the plugin, install and activate it in our WordPress system. So I already downloaded it, so you just click that link, you download the zip file, you don't unzip it, you leave it zipped, you go to your dashboard, you go to plugins, you go to add new, you go to upload plugin then and um, click activate at the end. So I already installed it, but not yet activated it. So you can see here, it says affiliate theme, Amazon card. This is just the corresponding German word for it. So I'm going to click activate for now. And if we now go to options, we can see in addition to all the existing links, we now have an Amazon card link. So without defining any further settings inside the Amazon card uh, settings here, we can already see a fundamental change on our website. So let's just go to any product and we can see that in addition to the buy now button, we now have this, in that case, remove from card button because I already added this product, but usually it says add to cart. So you can see that already this card functionality is automatically implemented into your website. We just have to adjust a few things for the customer to have the best experience possible. So let's just take a brief look at the settings we have right here. So uh, first we are prompted with two messages. Um, let's just start with the second one actually. It says to place a card inside the header, use the short code and the following short code. Um, and actually that's a pretty neat feature. So we're just gonna copy this short code. And what this is all about is that instead of those three symbols we had here, or in addition to, we can display a little basket up here. So wherever the customer is on the page, you can always see like, what products do I have in my card and how much money is it? So uh, we will just go to our design settings, switch to header and we're gonna insert the short code, update our settings and take a look at the front end. And as you can see now, um, the basket is displayed and let's just click add to cart and refresh our page. And you can see now that the car, cart or the, let's say the basket was updated and we have 319 19 bucks up there. So we're just gonna remove it for now. So after we included um, our basket in the header, uh, we have to think about what options we have to lead the customer now to Amazon. So there are two fundamentally different options. So the first one is uh, if we deactivate the card button here uh, and update um, our settings, refresh our page, and then we click here on the basket, we are automatically directed to Amazon and Amazon asks us if we want to add the products to our actual Amazon basket. So that's the first option. So then the customer directly goes to Amazon, but let's just say we want to have a little basket page on our own website. So the customer doesn't immediately go to Amazon, but first of all has an overview and then says, okay, I'm going to Amazon now. 
So let's just do this. So we're going to activate the card button again. We're going to just keep it as card. Uh, and we have to choose a card page. So actually we just have to create a normal WordPress page where um, this card can be displayed. And in order to do that, we have to take a look at the first message we received. So it says you can include the shopping cart on any page with the short code Amazon card. So we should just copy this because we now want to create a page where the customer has this overview. So we're going to click add new, just call it Amazon card for now. And for this, we're just copying the short code again, because this should be the page. Remember where the customer sees all his, um, <clears throat> the entire content of his basket. So we now created this card so we can go back to our plugin settings and define the card page where this should be directed. So it's already displayed Amazon card. So just short recap. So before we clicked this and we went right to Amazon. Now we don't want to go right away to Amazon, but we want to have our own uh, basket page. So I'm going to refresh this and click this again. And you can see now that we have our own little basket page. So right now it's just this one product. If we added more products, it would sum it up and then you can click here to Amazon. So let's just go back to the settings and see what else we can change here. <clears throat> For example, we can change this Amazon button text. Uh, right now it's to Amazon, just so you can see how it changes. I'm going to change the text here. Amazon, <clears throat> click update. We go back to our Amazon card page and you can see it immediately changes. So the last three options we have here in our settings is to change um, the text inside uh, the button. So we have the add to cart button. Let's, let's just see what this actually means. So here you have, this product was already added, so I can just click remove and then it says add to cart <clears throat> and then it says remove to cart. So if you want to change this, you can just change uh, the text here. And if there is no products in your card, well, you can also display a different text just as you prefer it.